For nearly 100 years, the old Battleground Academy campus has had a stately presence on the site of the Franklin Battlefield. Now Fleming Hall awaits its fate to see if it will remain there another century. Only the future knows. But the past has a lot to say about this old friend. The original Battleground Academy structure was built in 1889. In 1902, it burned down. Another building was constructed, but it too burned in 1910. Finally, in 1911, a building was built that stood the test of time, Fleming Hall. The large maple trees that we see on this campus were planted in 1905. Uh, you can almost see the children out, the young boys and the later girls sitting under these trees, uh, probably uh, studying their Latin or Greek or memorizing poetry and reciting it to one another. I can still see my Uncle George Briggs, who was very rotund, playing marbles on this lawn with the students. He was a crack marble player and nobody could beat him. So he delighted in challenging the students to a uh, a big marble tournament every spring, promising them a holiday if anyone could beat him. Um, historic buildings connect us to our communities and give us a sense of place and they help define who we are and set us apart from other places. Um, buildings like this just don't get built today. Um, this is, this is the, the oldest, probably the oldest educational building left in Franklin and it it helps to tell that story of where the people that grew up in our community years ago went to school and where they learned and, and where they were taught. I'm a general contractor, or was, and I've taken many old buildings over the several years that were in much worse condition than this and uh, had no history maybe of significance and uh, roofs uh, falling in, but I have gone the extra length to go on and fix up buildings like this, and it makes economic sense, if for no other reason. Uh, this building is structurally sound. The, the roof has uh, decayed tremendously due to the weathering, but I have taken many buildings much worse than this, and to reproduce uh, it is so expensive, uh, it would be much more economically uh, sound to fix up this than to try to build something new. It's laid out with classrooms and it's almost ideal for administrative offices and so forth. Um, seeing it as it is today, obviously it's at a crossroads. Um, generations of people uh, made a commitment to maintain this building that uh, brought it here to this present time. There's no question that there's been uh, water damage and some conditional issues that have developed, but. At the same time, I think you see a very solid building that continues to um, offer a lot of opportunity for reuse. Um, in today's world, preservation is um, part of an active promotion of um, the green building movement that's so popular. We, we talk about um, recycling and there's the old term that preservation is the ultimate recycling. And There's a lot of embodied energy and materials in this building that um, make it uh, make it just a, a, a good uh, sound decision to reuse this infrastructure that's here. It's just a good environmental thing uh, to do. No community laments saving a historic building. You often hear people tell stories about the buildings that they lost, but you never hear people talk about how sad they are that they saved a historic building. And these buildings help to set this, the stage for the important things that happen in our community and provide a setting for um, recreation and for learning about the history of, of Franklin and those people who have come before us. And ultimately, buildings like this just don't get built today. Um, and, and, and any reconstruction, no matter how great, is always going to be exactly that. Um, once you've lost a building, it's gone forever and you lose the benefit of these magnificent windows and this um, limestone foundation and the details that, that you just don't see in, in new buildings today because they're either unaffordable or the materials aren't available. And I hope that, that there's a way uh, that folks can come together and find a great viable use for this to continue it into a second century of service. It's such a tremendous resource for Williamson County. Uh, it's the largest uh, historic educational resource left in Williamson County.